Hi there, it's Brian from iSpring, and this time I'm going to show you how to combine a voiceover narration and PowerPoint presentation to make a video lecture. The best way to do this is with iSpring Suite, the PowerPoint add-in that lets you enhance your presentations and turn them into online courses. There are two ways to do this. You can record audio directly, or open up the narration editor. Let me show you the easiest way first. Before I start recording, I'm going to open up the options and set up my microphone. I just got to click through this wizard. I'll use the internal microphone, and it's a built in webcam mic. Here's some instructions on how to position it, and now here's some sample text to read so the wizard can get a good signal. And that's it! The mic is all set up and ready to go. I can pick a starting slide from this drop down and use the slide notes as a narration script. If I want, I can process only this slide, or record audio over several slides. OK, let's record. As I record, I can use this button to navigate through the slides while simultaneously setting the timings. Also, if there are any on-click animations, this button will change to let me navigate through those as well. OK, now I'm done. Now I want to see the results of my recording, so let's hop over to the narration editor. As you can see, here are the clips I just recorded down here on the timeline. Let's go ahead and delete those, and see how to record right here. I'll bring the slider back to the beginning, and click the record button on the toolbar. I still have my slide notes over here if I need them, and I can even drag them anywhere I want on the screen. To return them to the dock position, just double click the title bar. Now let's go ahead and record. As you can see, the duration of the first slide slowly increases as the recording progresses. As soon as I click Next Slide, the timing for the first slide is automatically set. Now you see this little yellow mark? That represents the on-click fade animation for this text box. Again, it's carried along by the slider until I click this button, then it's dropped off on the timeline in the correct position. I can continue recording like this until I'm done, and that's it. Now I can play back the audio to make sure it sounds good. Plus I can open up the built-in editor to fine tune it. Check out how well this remove noise feature gets rid of the annoying background hiss from my built-in mic. See? A straight line means perfect silence. Plus I can trim the clip if I want, and do some other cool stuff. OK, looks good. Now what if you already have some pre-recorded audio? No problem. I'll just delete this clip, and click the audio button to import. And there's my file. I'll insert it at the beginning of the slide, and since it's a long clip that goes over several slides, I don't need to check this box to make it all fit on the first slide. OK, now here's the final little trick I want to show you. Since I changed the timing on those first two slides earlier, I need to fix it now that I've imported this clip. So I can just drag these lines on the timeline to fit in between these gaps in the audio. The on-click animation can be moved as well. Don't worry, if you're not sure where to drag these cues, you can always preview the audio again. If you want to cancel all the changes you made in the narration editor, just X out of the window. Otherwise, click Save and Close. Now you're ready to publish your presentation for the web or an LMS. All the audio narrations will be included in the final output. Space Shuttle Program The Space Shuttle Program was the United States government's space program from 1981 to 2011. Sounds good! Thanks for watching! Now you know how to add narrations to a PowerPoint presentation. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.